Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Uncovered. On this video, we will go over some of the features available on the Gate.io exchange, including deposits with credit cards, how to place orders, and other interesting features. If you are trying to find out how to deposit or withdraw crypto from Gate.io, check out our previous video, which demonstrates those features in details and others. Just before we get started, a quick disclaimer. This video is not sponsored and I do try to assist with questions on the comment session, but this is just my personal opinion and experiences. And nothing that is said on this video should be taken as financial advice or recommendations. All right, guys, let's get this video started. So what you're seeing now is the laptop homepage for Gate.io Exchange. If you're using your mobile app, it will look slightly different, but the features should be available also. So first, we'll help you get started by showing you how to deposit with a credit card, which was not possible until recently. So if you look on the top left, you will see the options to buy crypto. And once you put your mouse over it, you will see credit card and bank transfer as options. Bank transfer is usually not that popular as a method of depositing. So I'm going to be showing you the credit card only. So if you go ahead and click on credit card, you will take it to this page. And if you scroll down slightly, you will see on the left, the currency of choices, which in this case, I just put Australian dollar just to show you that depending on the currency that you intend to deposit, some of the options of the providers would not be available. But if you change to US dollar, you have all the providers available. And on the left, you just choose the amount you want to deposit. And on the right, the currency that you want to purchase, the cryptocurrency that you want to purchase. In this case, it's showing Bitcoin. I recommend putting USDT Tether on Gate.io. Most of the trading pairs are USDT Tether pairs. So if you buy Bitcoin and you want to purchase Ethereum, let's say, you will have to sell some of your Bitcoin to USDT and then from USDT buy some Ethereum. So you'll be losing some money in commissions. Um, so in this case, it's easier if you just deposit USDT and from there, you, deposit, you decide how much money you would like to put on each currency from there, because the pairs will be from USDT. Um, and you have different options. In this case, I'm just going to change to USDT, and I'm going to click uh, the one that says HOT, uh, Banksa. And on the bottom, you will see you will be paying 500 US dollars, but you will be getting 471.39. There's a fee of $9.76 US dollars. You have to click. I have I read and accept the disclaimer and click purchase. Uh, it will take to a third party website, in this case, a Banksa website. And from there, you have to process the payment and then you will receive your USDT in your Gate.io spot account. All right, so once you have purchased your cryptocurrency with your credit card, you will have to go to your spot wallet. And I would like to show you how to have a look at your spot account or wallet. And this is where you can see your cryptocurrencies and how much you have of them and how much it is worth at market value. All right, to get here, it's quite simple. You just go from the top where it says wallet and you go to the option for spot account, click there and you bring you to this page. And here you see different crypto assets that you have or trades and on the top, you can see available this will be for the quantity of the currency that you have available and the amount will be the us dollar value right now at market value right so here is where all your currencies will be and if you have deposited usdt it should be somewhere in the bottom you'll be able to see um, your usdt amount available all right guys now that you have learned how to buy crypto with your credit card you know how to go to your spot wallet and check your wallet to know that the crypto has arrived. Here is the markets page and how to purchase. Um, to get to markets page, next to buy crypto, you go to markets and click on market price and it will show you uh, different trading pairs. Next to spot, you have futures and loans. This would be for leverage trade. I do not recommend if you're new to cryptocurrency to play with any leverage trades. And then you have a new listed, which is the new coins in the exchange, the top gainers, the, which is the biggest movers, and the leaderboard, which is uh, by volume. And to show you how to just do a purchase yourself, so GT, let's just click on GT. Um, if you click on it, it will take you to this page, which is the trading page. 
just a quick overview of the page on the left you have different cryptocurrencies um, you can just go on top and search different ones if you like uh, and then you have the star next to the cryptocurrency you can star it and make it a favorite list so you can follow the ones that you purchased or cryptos that you're looking for um, and on the center you have the trading charts which is a, a generic trading chart if you haven't seen you have different functions one month which means every bar is one month then one week one day hours and minutes 15 minutes this is a 15 minute chart you can see the short-term movement for the coins um, on the right you have uh, the actual price or the last price this is the order book and you can see different orders for selling and different orders for purchasing and on the center if you scroll down spot trading you have limit orders you also have grid trading and time condition these are a bit more advanced trading um, methods i do not use them myself and i do not want to teach you how to do it now because this video is intended for beginners and how to start with gate.io and the limit order is quite simple all you have to do is put the price i'm putting four dollars here the price now is 630 because i do not want to purchase gt i'm just showing you and uh, you have the amount that you will get for those four dollars and my balance which is a um, dollar 29 more or less usdt so you can go ahead and put a hundred percent or 75 it's easier for you to do this or you can just choose the amount of uh, gt that you want to purchase and then once you're done you just go ahead and click buy and you confirm the terms that you want you will ask you for your password i done it recently so you didn't ask me now but um, normally you will be asked um, and you can see on the left you can cancel the order is here so it's a limit order and it's to buy uh, gt usd now one thing that you have to be aware of and in the previous video i got some questions about these people saying their money disappeared you know i deposited and now my money disappeared so you can see my balance now it's zero usdt but the order didn't go through but what happens is, is the money is not available the money is tied up on this order so if you do different orders and they you think that it hits but it didn't because it's a limit order so it needs to get to four dollars and it has to have enough liquidity at four dollars for me to purchase so it has to be someone selling and enough people selling to be able to fill my order and once that's done then obviously i will have gt and my usdt will be gone but if i decide to change my mind i want my usdt back all i have to do is click cancel now the order is cancelled and you can see on top the balance is back so just be aware of this because unfortunately on gate.io they only have limit orders and they do not have market orders like binance and other uh, exchanges um, like coinbase so with market order you choose the amount that you want you want to buy one gt and it will say market order so it's like right now so you will buy uh, the gt at the current price whatever the price is as long as there's liquidity and with limit order is different so you have to put the price now if you want to purchase and what i do with gate.io in this case the price is 629 so i would literally put the price there the exact price or below so i will be able to or just a little bit below or even above if you want to buy it right now you can buy it at 29 29.50 which is above the market price so you will be purchasing right now okay so just some of the tips for you in terms of how to go around not having some market order all right guys just to conclude the video i just want to show you some different features on the website which might be interesting for you if you have your crypto and you go to hodl and earn you might be able to get some extra crypto by holding for a certain amount of time in this case usdt you get four percent per year if you hold for seven days it's a minute amount but it's better than nothing if you're planning just to have your uh, usdt there for a while and if you have any of the other currencies you can see some of them have 100 percent per year this is very interesting to have a look at and see what's available and if you have those currencies as well if you don't want to sell maybe you'll get some extra currency for what you already have and another thing that's interesting is the giveaways uh, this is the reward center let's have a look they always have some different things that they offer some bonus campaigns you might be able to get some stuff for free 
Um, it's always good to make money on the markets, but if you get it for free, why not, right? And um, I just want to conclude the video here. Um, this is the startup, which is where you get some new cryptocurrencies that are trying to raise money. And you just have to meet some conditions, like having a certain amount of USDT and um, maybe having some GT, depending on the terms and conditions for each cryptocurrency. But you just click on it and you'll be able to see and buy some new projects coming up uh, that might be promising. So I just wanted to share you these quick features with you. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, please, by all means, put in the comment section. Um, regarding the credit card purchase, I have not done it myself. So if you have done it, if you have a good or bad experience, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to know and for the community to know as well. Please give it a thumbs up on the video so other community members can see the video and for YouTube to show this um, to other users. And we'll see you on the next one. And thank you for watching.